Today we're going to talk about chain maintenance. Now sometimes when you get a looper chain, a brand new looper chain, you take it out of the packaging, it's going to feel oily. That lubrication is actually not lubrication for the chain, it's actually a rust preventative. So the chassis of that chain is actually unlubricated. It's really important that before you use that brand new looper chain, you get lubrication in those joints. One way that we recommend to do that is by setting your looper chain in a container with oil and letting it soak. So now we're going to talk about maintenance on a previously used looper chain. Sometimes during operation, a looper chain will get thrown off the bar. When a looper chain gets thrown off a bar, damage can occur to the drive links. Now this is the location of those drive links. <clears throat> when that occurs, burrs get raised on the drive links. Those burrs are actually wider than the groove of the bar. So now the drive links won't fit into the groove. The way to remove those burrs so everything fits back together again is by using a flat file to remove the burrs. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is identify those damaged drive links. And when you find them, you kind of turn your loop inside out and take your flat file and slide it across those drive links where the damage is until those burrs have been removed. You want to make sure and do that on every single drive link that's got a burr on it. Once you've done that, you can now put your bar and chain back on the saw and run it and you shouldn't have any problems with the, with the drive links not going into the groove of the bar. Now if you examine your chain after you've thrown it and you notice that the drive links are completely beat up and there's no chance to repair them, that's the time to replace the loop. If you notice you might have damage to a cutter, pretty significant damage, there's a method to replace those cutters. There's a method to replace those tie straps. That's going to be covered in another video. For further details, please visit OregonProducts.com.